Hi there, Flea. Uh, my name is Ren. I'm from Brazil. Everybody loves you there, as you know. Uh, so my question is about, you talk so much about how that intense relationship with Hillel and all, how painful that was for you. And I assume that after that, you probably felt a lot of hopelessness with losing that such a connection. And all of a sudden, a year later, the 17-year-old kid, John, comes into your life, and a new connection is, comes to light. Did you feel like, at that point, life was giving you a new hope, a new light, something to smile again? Maybe there was involving all different aspects? Um, absolutely, man. It's kind of like, I feel like, uh, you know, John Frusciante, who, who he's talking about. I'm sorry, in the beginning, I didn't catch your name, but, but it was a... Uh, is an abs you know, this interstellar, transcendent, incredible virtuoso musician. And, and um, after Halal died, um, he became our guitar player. I met this 17-year-old kid, and, um, and we, I jammed with him with actually a, a Bay Area guy named D.H. Peligro, who played him at Dead Kennedys, who, who was in our band for a short while, too, a great drummer. And um, yeah, it really was a new opportunity, and John gave us so much, and he's someone that I love so deeply. And I, I feel like it's like with the band, like so many times I've been frustrated with it, or, you know, me and Anthony will be just at loggerheads fighting, or, you know, just like, you know, like friends do when, they, when you're together with someone constantly for 37 years, you know? <laughs> um, but, and, you know, and making yourself vulnerable in the creative process while you're together, you know? but. Um, I always feel like for some reason like the universe, God, whatever you want to call it, always gives some reason for it to keep going. You know, like something always happens. And, um, and John coming is one of those things, you know. And um, I don't, you know, claim to uh, understand how the cosmos work. But I do think that like in my relationship with Anthony as well, a lot of times the band is like this like God giving us this vehicle to keep us together. Like even more, because I know like when I met this kid guy when I was 15, like I met him, I walked out, I had this kid in a headlock and I'm fighting him and, I go, and Anthony comes up and he's like, lay off him. And I was like, you know, this was the 70s, everyone had long hair and puka shells and Anthony had a crew cut and muscle. He came up and I was like, what the fuck is this guy, you know? And I backed off and, and the second I looked at him, I was like, I'll be hanging out with this guy for the rest of my life. And I was like, and I didn't, you know, and I, I knew it. You know, and I feel like it's, it's I, I don't understand it, you know? I don't know how that works, but, and maybe it shifts, maybe it changes, what do I know? But for some reason, and like with John, there's this, there keeps being a reason for it, you know? And um, things move, the world is, you know, waves of energy move and, you know, we ride them. <laughs>